We've got to do something with the numbers. It's three o'clock. Isn't it always three o'clock? I may have just been both. Is it? Ah, okay. So let's go and beat. Visit me, Tuck. House of Wax. Hey, look, a full moon. It's locked. Knock, knock. Who's there? Anybody home? No, go away. Then who are you? Uh, no one. There's no one here. When do you expect someone to be home? Later. Much later. Finish running your wife's errands first. But there's supposed to be a wax show today. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. The sign out here says there is. Uh, yeah, that. Well, it's cancelled. It's okay. It's me. Me who? Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. <laughs> nice try. Guybrush and Elaine are dead. I know why you're here, and you can't have it. What are you talking about? Stop pretending, you greedy old man. You think you can just buy up the old island just because you can insult people? Well, think again. You can't take my house away from me if you can't get in. I knew I shouldn't have fixed that bridge. There's nobody home. Now go away. Okay, I'll come back later. So he says that we have to finish our wife's errands before we'll talk to us. Okay. Go to Melee Town. What's over this way then? Harbour. It's empty. That's disappointing. How do I put that away in my inventory? Okay, okay, let's put it there we go. I'm Guybrush Malt Threepwood, and I need a ship. How nice for you. And just what do you want me to do about it? Are you the harbor master? No, I am the harbor mistress. My full title is Chief Assistant Shipyard Regulator, Harbor Operations, Melee Island, a division of Inter Island Transportation Services. Which means? Which means I'm in charge of ship allocations on Melee Island. And we need one. You must be some kind of ship expert to land such an important and specialized job. Nope. Don't know anything about them, and I can't stand sailing. I'm just paying my dues until I get a supervisor's job. <laughs> All this red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. <laughs> now that's a fine-looking ship. That's the second most beautiful figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Why would anyone put earrings on a ship's figurehead? I can see why this ship hasn't been sold. Okay, never mind. I'm not picking that up. I'm not sure how I'd use this. She got pierced ears. Surely that's a thingy. Oh dear. Ah! I'm really confused. It says ship for sale. Oh, well, we'll ask him about that then. Maybe we can. Hi, I'm back. Nice night for a sale, huh? It would be if you had a boat. I'm coming during a vessel. Not so fast, mister. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission. And I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. But Stan said I could. Name dropping won't get you a boat. Okay. I'm married to the governor. I heard she was dead. Well, she does have her quiet moments, but she's alive and back on melee and ready to govern. Yeah. Oh, so she's just been on vacation all this time, huh? That's nice. 
She won't be governor for long. I'm voting for Mr. Charles. He promised me a promotion. Come on, just give me a boat. The rules prohibit the shipyard regulator, that would be me, from lending a boat to anyone who does not have proper authority. That would be you. Isn't there some sort of loophole? Nope. It's simple. Prove to me that you have the authority to requisition a ship, and I will follow procedure to supply one. What would it take to get you to look the other way? I really hope that you aren't trying to bribe an employee of the Malay Island government. Not that I care what happens to you, but I really don't want to fill out the paperwork. How does that work again? Okay, but remember, I'm not required to do this. As a civil servant and chief assistant shipyard regulator, yeah. I am here for your safety, not to be helpful. <laughs> but if it'll make you go away, I'll tell you. I can hardly wait. I cannot and will not release a ship to any person, party, or entity that does not carry the authority of office or is otherwise important in their own right. Never mind. Okay, that... Now that I can do. That was unhelpful. All this red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so let's go and let's go back here. That is one fat bird. That pig shaped bush frightens and confuses me. Hey, I bet I could market this. Vegetarian steak. Can I go in? No way. I don't want to be inside if that guy actually gets lucky and hits the house. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? So I can't actually do anything. Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. Hmm. Um, excuse Let's me. Let's try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a sec. 15, 4.2, minus 27. What? What are those numbers you're muttering? You know, I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. Right. Fire! This mysteriously catapult-shaped catapult cactus. And we make an actual hmm, catapult out of it. A bad piece of modern art, if I do say so myself. And he fires his catapult at that catapult. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? And then the rock fly flies back and takes out his catapult. Good. He now stay over there, pencil neck. He says, hopefully. Hmm. Um, excuse me. Let's try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a sec. 22, 4.2, minus 6. What? Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. Uh, okay. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. Hmm. Fire! I wouldn't think a scrawny guy like that could lift those heavy boulders. Oh, you calling scrawny pencil neck? Yeah. Um, excuse me. What? Please stop firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. Sorry about that, kid, but I'm on the contract. What are those numbers you're muttering? You know? I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know hmm. is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. But he's not doing anything else. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? So Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. 
Let's come this way. What was that noise? Hey, get away from there before I pop you one in the head, capiche? So I need to knock the catapult out of alignment. Fine. Now stay over there, pencil neck. Hmm. Let's try forty-seven, six point okay. seven. Well. Can I go behind? Maybe not. Maybe it won't let me. Okay, that's as far as we can get. With that inner tube, it looks like a giant slingshot. Yeah. So he fires at the catapult, it bounces off the. It gets caught in that and then goes back. So I need to disrupt the. His uh, position so they will then go for the. Then fire at the catapult. Um, oh, that just takes me there. Hmm. Ah. But yeah. Um, what's in here then? Did we actually go in? Oh no, we this is one of those weird doors that goes somewhere else. Can't go in there. Huh. Okay, never mind, none of these doors go where they think they should do. Into door? Oh no no no. Six to that door. I don't want to go to that door. Can I get... No, 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 I wouldn't be able to get one off a lane, a contract off a lane for them. Die, Brush. What was it I was supposed to be doing? <sighs> Stop that catapult from destroying our home and then sail to Lucre Island, remember? Oh, yeah, thanks. So... I need something that disrupts his alignment. something with the darts, people. Ahoy again, mateys. <sighs> Why aren't you playing insult dart throwing? Ooh. The official Tri-Island Dart Throwing Semi-Professional League rulebook clearly states all dart competitions must be won by dart throwing skill. Not by any other means, such as bribery, insults, threats, or otherwise. Hmm. I'm a dart throwing maniac. Really? Back in grade school, they called me the Dart Master. Or something that rhymed with that, anyway. So, can I join your game? No. no. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Ah. The human body is a beautiful thing, most of the time. <laughs> I'm back. That you are. You got any snacks? I've got some pretzels. Well, that seems harmless enough. Yep. The scum bar's famous kudu jerky pretzels. Ooh. Got anything else? Mm, not really. Okay, let's have some. Sorry, can't give you any. What? Why did you... That drunk at the table over there? He has the last basket. The fiend. Give them to me without a basket. Sorry, it's scumbar policy. Grog me, barkeep. Why I'd be glad to. After you show me some ID. Since when did groggeries check for ID? Since unscrupulous Australian developers started trying to get our grog license revoked. Hmm. Fair enough. I've got troubles. Like what? The government is trying to blow up my house. Well, that's a cry in shame, Mr. Threepwood. Yeah, if anyone's gonna blow up my house, it should be me. Yeah. Well, I haven't got a crew to take me to Lucre Island. Hmm. You know, there's probably a pirate or two hanging around that could be coaxed into joining your crew. 
I need a ship to take me to Lucre Island. You might want to try the Melee Island Municipal Shipyards. Does Stan still work there? Oh, no, no. The whole place is run by the Harbor Mistress these days. Harbor Mistress? All right. She's very by the book. Although, she does have her tender side. If her tender side is anything like the painting behind you, I don't want to see it. On second thought, I hate listening to myself whine. You and me both, brother. <laughs> I've got to go. Right, well, go out and do that. So, yeah, we get different bits and pieces of advice. I still think... So we want to get the pretzels off this guy, then. It says, happy birthday. We need to... Unless we do the start swordfish. Well, this fish has seen better days. I can't use this. I'm not picking that up. Hmm. Maybe the darts. It says happy birthday. And now I've looked at it. Can I get these guys to shoot it? Ahoy again, mateys. Excuse me. <clears throat> I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all these. Balloon. I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. No problem. I'm impressed. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all. I'm gonna go with the center of the life preserver. There's no way you'll be able to hit the center of that life preserver on the kitchen door. Oh, trying to be tricky, huh? Wow, that's pretty good. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? We do still have now the swordfish, but I don't want to stab this guy. He's just drunk and in the way. I guess he won't be needing these anymore. Pop that in the inventory. Well, this fish has seen better days. Not even a life preserver will save what lies beyond that door. I mean, that's something... What was creepy? Oh, is that the picture that was creepy? No. No. 